जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्री सदी घोर भक्त वृंद जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्री सदी घोर भक्त वृंद हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधो जगत पते गोपेश गोपी कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कंचन गौरंगी राधे वृंदानेश्वरी वृषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरे प्रिय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर उसी राधे गुरु का भगवान की जय 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 हरे कृष्णा एवरी वन हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्णा निशा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा एवरी वन कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा All right. So we'll get started. <clears throat> okay. Not everyone is on video. Show you on video so that uh, I can see very quickly. <laughs> uh, so if possible, try to be on video if you can. Yeah. All right. So कल हम लोग पढ़ रहे थे श्लोक इलेवन and uh, हम लोगों ने already twenty first अध्याय शुरू किया है. Are you able to hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, कल हम श्लोक ग्यारह पढ़ रहे थे उसमें एज वी नो मैत्री को भगवान विष्णु ने दर्शन दिए हैं राइट सो भगवान विष्णु अपियर एंड दैट इज वॉट इज बींग डिस्क्राइब सो द ब्यूटिफुल डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ लॉर्ड विष्णु हाउ ही अपियर क्या So if we see some descriptions, you know, like with Shankar, we already know the action of Shankar Gada, uh, Dhari Lili flower in the hand, and you know, Lord Vishnu appeared, Suraj, uh, Jitna Tej, and all that, right? So we saw the description last few shlokas, and in this one, what we mentioned is a golden streak on his chest. Yeah, three words. It's always said like on Sri Vishnu's vaksha stall, right? Sri vaksha, Sri Am. There's a golden stick, three words, and then the famous kastubha gem suspended from his neck. Yeah, it says kostub kandaram. So kostub mani, and then he stood in the air with his lotus feet placed on the shoulders of Guru. Yeah, Guru, what the heck? So that is how. Lord Vishnu is giving darshan to, yeah, giving darshan to, to whom? Bhagwan Vishnu Vishnu darshan de rahe? Um, Arshi, Marshi, Kardam, Kardam Muni, yeah, Kardam, Kardam. <laughs> so Kardam Muni ko darshan de rahe Bhagwan. And as we saw, Kostuba Jain. So Kostuba Mani. I think there is a very good uh, description of what is Kostuba Mani. So let's uh, read that. So how Mary Krishna? Hey Krishna. Okay, do you want to read? Sorry. Oh uh, yeah, sure. Okay. In Hindu theology, the devas and asuras performed in the Churning of the ocean of milk, Sundara Mantan, in order to get Amrita Devanagri. In this process, the fourteen treasure jewels, Ratnas, emerged from the ocean. The fourth Ratna that emerged is known as Kastuba. It repre- represents pure consciousness, shining in its all lum- luminous manifestations. 
It was said by Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, and all other devdas that nobody in the universe except Lord Vishnu <clears throat> could handle this brilliance and magnificence of this money, since it could corrupt the barrier by infusing in them, was agreed to carry it forever. Hare Krishna, yeah. So, <clears throat> uh, so now we know about costume, money, yeah. It represents pure consciousness, sharing it all its luminous manifestations. So, uh, <clears throat> Yeah, so that's how Lord Vishnu uh, is appearing. And uh, actually, let's uh, read the description uh, section. The descriptions in verses 9, 9 to 11 of the Lord in his transcendental eternal form are understood to be descriptions from the authoritative Vedic version. These descriptions are certainly not the imagination of Kardamuni. The decorations of the Lord are beyond material conception, as admitted even by the impersonalists like Shankaracharya, Narayana. Narayana, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, has nothing to do with material creation. The varieties of the transcendental Lord, his body, his form, his dress, his instruction, his words, are not manufactured by the material energy, but are all confirmed in the Vedic literature. By performance of yoga, Kardam Muni actually saw the Supreme Lord as he is. There was no point in seeing an imagined form of law, imagined form of God after practicing yoga for 10,000 years. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <clears throat> the perfection of yoga, therefore, does not terminate in voidness or impersonalism. On the contrary, the perfection of yoga is attained when one actually sees the personality of Godhead in his eternal form. The process of Krishna consciousness is to deliver the form of Krishna directly. The form of Krishna is described in the authoritative Vedic literature, Brahma Samhita. His abode is made of Chintamani stone. And the Lord plays there as a covert, as a covert a boy and is served by many thousands of gopis. These descriptions are authoritative and a Krishna conscious person takes them directly, acts on them, preaches them and practices devotional service as enjoyed in, in the authoritative scriptures. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So the important part which is being mentioned here is what? Like the form of Krishna is all what is described in the authoritative Vedic literature, right? Like we also read Brahma Samhita in the beginning. Yeah. <clears throat> And the second important point mentioned is what is the goal of all this perfection of yoga and meditation and everything, right? The ultimate goal is you have to meet Paramatma. You have to get darshan of Paramatma and merge. Otherwise, uh, no point of all this yoga, yeah? Is what is being mentioned here. Anilji? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> इंटरनेट थोड़ा स्लो चल रहा है अच्छा कोई नहीं ओके जात हर्षो पतन मूर्खना क्षितो लब्ध मनोरथा गिर विस्त व्यग्रणात प्रीति स्व भावात्मा कृतांजलि व्हेन कर्दम मुनि एक्चुअली रियलाइज द सुप्रीम personality of Godhead in person. He was greatly satisfied because his transcendental desire was fulfilled. He fell on the ground with his head bowed to offer obeisances unto the lotus feet of the Lord. His heart naturally full of love of God with folded hands, he satisfied the Lord with prayers. Hare Krishna. Krishna. Right. So when Lord Krishna is appearing, so Kardam Muni, yeah, after realizing the Supreme Personality of Godhead in person, you know, what is he doing? Yeah. His transcendental desire was fulfilled. And then he fell on the ground with his head both to offer obeisances. 
ऐसे जो मूर्धाना क्षितो एंड ऑल्सो प्रीति स्वभात्मा या ही इज हार्ड नेचुरली फुल ऑफ लव ऑफ गॉड एंड देन कृतांजलि इज ही सेटिस्फाइड द लॉर्ड विथ प्रेयर्स विथ फोल्डेड हैंड्स सो देन कर्द मुनि स्टार्ट्स डूइंग द प्रेयर या एंड देयर इज अ गुड डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ पातांजलि यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड अबाउट द पातांजलि योगा सिस्टम राइट and lot of people follow patanjali uh, i think this is a good description here so we sh- so it's a long purport but uh, we are going to read yeah so let's uh, read that uh, uh, soham uh, soham can you yeah okay ajay the realization of the personal form of the lord is the highest perfectional stage of yoga in the 6th chapter of bhagavad gita where yoga practice is described this realization of the personal form of the lord is called the perfection of yoga after practicing the sitting postures and other regulative principles of the system one finally reaches the stage of samadhi absorption of the absorption in the supreme in this samadhi stage one can see the supreme personality of godhead in his partial form as parmatma or as he is samadhi is described in authoritative yoga scriptures such as patanjali sutra to be a trans- transcendental pleasure hari krishna hari krishna yeah, so nice description uh, given here uh, about that uh, rina ji is we are the yoga system described in the books of patanjali is authoritative and the modern so called yogis who have manufactured their own ways not consulting the authorities are simply ridiculous the patanjali yoga system is called ashtang yoga sometimes impersonalists pollute the patanjali yoga system because they are monists patanjali describes that the soul is transcendently pleased when he meets the super soul and sees him if the existence of the super soul and the individual is admitted then the impersonalist theory of monism is nullified therefore some impersonalists and void philosophers twist the patanjali system in their own way and pollute the whole yoga process hari krishna right so what patanjali describes is when the soul is transcendently pleased when he meets the super soul so that's important uh, concept right the super soul is always प्रेजेंट तरुण गिव मी सेकंड अकॉर्डिंग टू पतंजलि व्हेन वन फ्री फ्रॉम ऑल मटेरियल डिजायर सी अटेन्स हिज रियल ट्रांसेंडेंटल सिचुएशन एंड रियलाइजेशन ऑफ दैट स्टेज इज कॉल्ड स्पिरिचुअल पावर in material activities a person engages in the modes of material nature the aspirations of such people are one to be religious two to be economically enriched three to be able to gratify the senses and at last four to become one with the supreme according to the monist when a yogi becomes one with the supreme and loses his individual existence he attains the highest stage called kevalya but actually the stage of realization of the personality of god is kevalya hari krishna okay so hum ya de so hum ah uh, yes oh sorry yeah go ahead sir the anand the anandness of understanding that the supreme lord is fully spiritual and that in full spiritual realization one can understand what he is the supreme personality of god that is called kaiva or in the language of patanjali realization of spiritual power is proposal to when one is freed from material desires and fixed in spiritual realization of the self and the super self that is called sitsakiti in full spiritual realization there is a perception of spiritual happiness and the happiness is described in bhagavad gita as the supreme happiness which is beyond the 
a material senses. Trance is described to be two of two kinds, some, some prajnata and asam prajnata. Or mental speculation and self-realizations and samadhi or asam prajnata one can re- one can realize by his with spiritual senses, the spiritual form of Lord, the ultimate goal of spiritual realization. Hare Krishna. Hare yeah, Krishna, thank you, Soham. <clears throat> so, you know, very simply, you know, according to Patanjali, when one is fixed in constant realization of the supreme form of the Lord, one has attained the perfectional stage as attained by Kardam Muni. Yeah? And unless one attains this stage of perfection, Beyond the perfection of the preliminaries of the yoga system, there is no ultimate realization. So that is the most important part, like the realization of the supreme form of the Lord. Yeah. <clears throat> Ravi? Justam. Rishi Uvacha, Dushtam Batadya, Hilastava, Va, Hilastava Rashe, Samsidha Yamakshenostava, Darshanana, Yad Darshana Janma Virik Gaya, Sadhi, Rasha Saste, Rasha Ste, Yogi no Rudha Yoga. The great Sage Kadamuni said, O Supreme Worshipful Lord, my power of sight is now fulfilled. Having attained the greatest perfection of the sight of you, you are the reservoir of all existence. Though my successive birth of deep meditation, advanced yogis aspire to see your transcendental form. <clears throat> Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. And so Karda Muni is praying to Lord Supreme Lord, yeah, saying, You are the reservoir of all existence. And even with successive births, says, Rasha Sate Yogi no Rude Yoga hai, Janma Biridya Sadhvi, like what successive births, what yogis are aiming for is here yeah, Darshanam, right? And that Darshan Karda Muni has got, yeah. So that's why I'm saying my power of sight is now fulfilled. And I think it's a nice, again, uh, purport on the Bhakti Yoga. So let's uh, uh, let's uh, read this. <clears throat> Ajay? The Supreme Personality of Godhead is described here as the reservoir of all goodness and all pleasure. Unless one is situated in the mode of goodness, there is no real pleasure. Therefore, when one's body, mind, and activities are situated in the service of the Lord, one is on the highest perfectional stage of goodness. Kadam Muni says, your Lordship is the reservoir of all that can be understood by the nomenclature of goodness and by our experiencing your face-to-face, the perfection of sight has now been attained. Those statements are the pure devotional situation For a devotee, the perfection of the sense is to engage in the service of the Lord. The sense of sight when engaged in seeing the beauty of the Lord is perfected. The power to hear when engaged in hearing the glories of the Lord is perfected. The power to taste when one enjoys eating prasada is perfected. Right. So describing how our senses should be dedicated to uh, in the service of the Lord. Yeah. Sachin? When all the senses engage in relationship with the personality of Godhead, one's perfection is technically called Bhakti Yoga, which entails detaching the senses from material indulgence and attaching them to the service of the Lord. When one is freed from all designated conditional life and fully engages in the service of the Lord, one's service is called Bhakti Yoga. Kardam Muni admits that seeing the Lord personally is Bhakti Yoga, in Bhakti Yoga, is the perfection of sight. The exalted perfection of seeing the Lord is not exaggerated by Kardam Muni. He gives evidence that those who are actually elevated in yoga aspire in life after life to see this form of personality of Godhead. 
he was not a fictitious yogi those who are actually on the advanced path aspire only to see the eternal form of the lord hari krishna hari krishna yeah so the nice description of bhakti yoga <clears throat> ओशन only persons deprived of their intelligence by the spell of the deluding energy will worship those feet with a view of attain the trivial and momentary pleasures of the senses which even persons rotting in hell can attain however you my lord o oh my lord you are so kind that you bestow mercy up, uh, even upon them hari krishna hari krishna ya yeah. so karda muni is is paying obeisances to lord vishnu and then he's praying and he's saying that his own lotus feet are the two vessel to take one across the ocean of mundane nescience yeah so is a padar vindam bhav sindhu pota yeah so lotus feet is bhav sindhu ke paar karane ke liye the lotus feet is the right vessel yeah and but he's saying that even though there is two lot of people right persons who are deprived of their intelligence because of the deluding energy because of the maya they worship lord to get something right to attain something trivial in the physical world says your upasate kamal vaya tesha so just for the momentary pleasure and of the senses and to get something in physical world they waste their energy and they worship to get that but your lotus feet are should be utilized for getting through the bhav sindhu is what kardha muni is saying yeah <clears throat> ajay sure tatha tatha sachaham parvod parivod dukam dukama saman shilam धेनुम उपे उपे वाण्य मूल मूल मूलम शे, शेष मूलम दुराशय काम दुधाग्य धृपस्य देर फॉर डिजायरिंग टू मैरी अ गर्ल ऑफ लाइक डिस्पोजिशन हु मे प्रूव टू बी वेरिटेबल काउ ऑफ ऑफ प्लेंटी इन माई मैरिड लाइफ टू सेटिस्फाई माई लसफुल डिजायर i too have sought the shelter of your lotus field which are the source of everything for you are like a desired tree hari mm-hmm. krishna hari krishna yeah so karda muni you just mentioned that you are sure that less intelligent people try to get physical this thing but if you remember lord brahma asked karda muni to expand the universe yeah and before that karda muni is doing all this tapasya for 10000 years and then He is asking Lord Vishnu, uh, yeah, <clears throat> to to fulfill uh, his uh, married desire, yeah. So, I think let's just read this paragraph. Uh, Anilji. Yeah. Karda Muni wanted to have a wife of like. this position because of wife is necessary to assist in the spiritual and material advancement it is said that a wife aids the fulfillment of all desires in religion economic development and sense gratification if one has a nice wife he is to be considered a most fortunate man in astrology a man is considered fortunate who has great wealth very good sons or a very good wife hare krishna Hare Krishna. Yeah, and say so of these three, one who has very good wife is considered the most fortunate. So that's why I wanted to read this. So important <laughs> for spiritual and physical advancement. 
so I think we are going to pause here. Uh, we'll uh, start next week with Slok 16, where you know Kardamuni continues to pray uh, to Supreme Lord after getting the darshan. Yeah, and it's a long weekend now for us again. Uh, since it's Thursday, any comments, questions? Before we have the kirtan. Yeah, so happy Navratri to everyone. I think next eight to nine days are very auspicious. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure everyone must be uh, <clears throat> doing Durga Puja. Uh, and which is really a good time to, you know, do that. So, so happy Navratri. And have a nice weekend. Happy Navratri. Happy Navratri, Bhaiya. And uh, let's hear the kirtan for a minute. And then we'll see you on Monday. Yeah? Hey, Krishna. Go in.